feel so strange in hot water against oh, each other. Oh, so much gunk coming out. Oh. <laughs> you like to have sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> Too, it's nice and brown.
Here we are examining the right ear canal. We can see obstructing cerumen laterally. A suction is used at this time to try to remove some of the canal contents. You can see the skin is very dry. Further in, you see an osteoma superiorly. Now we use a curette to gently remove some of the earwax lining the canal itself. Since the skin is very dry, one must be very careful as to not put too much pressure, which can cause irritation as well as discomfort. Some patients require cerumen removal on a regular basis. Taking a look distally, we see a normal eardrum. Now we take a look at the contralateral ear. With more obstructing cerumen, again a suction is used to remove the majority of the cerumen. Various different techniques are available for removal. Here we're peeling off the cerumen from the ear canal itself. And then alligator forceps will be used to grasp and remove them completely. This needs to be done very delicately and carefully to avoid ear canal bleeding and significant pain. Alligator forceps now. A few more pieces are left to remove. And then we'll be able to visualize the eardrum. Again, osteoma superiorly. Routine use of Q-tips is to be avoided as this will actually push the wax further into the ear canal. Brought their uh, teenage son in. He believed he got a spider in his ear. And sure enough, there is a spider in his ear. I suspect the, susp the spider is dead. And things were going quite well when uh, in my clinic my patients get to see this sort of shot on a 50 inch flat screen TV and the patient didn't seem too concerned until his younger brother suggested that this was really cool and what if the spider had laid eggs in his ear um, at that point my patient became a little bit agitated but um, I said to him that because of the condition of the earwax there's not much chance of that actually um, surviving inside an ear and I suspect actually mum's had a go at it with a cotton bud and actually just pushed it further in so I wasn't going to use a Jobson horn on this because I wanted it all to come out in uh, one big manoeuvre. And the other thing is I think the patient would feel happier that um, seeing the microsuction would possibly, in his mind, remove any eggs that might have been laid there. Um, so I've, my patient's nice and comfortable. I've told him not to worry. His hearing is perfect. And I'm just going to get myself lined up to use some microsuction and you'll notice that with this I always use a metal cone so I'm using a metal cone to insert the microsuction this then stops any possibility of damage to the side walls of the patient's ear canal you see a lot of people doing microsuction and they are not using metal cones or plastic cones to protect the patient's ears so here it comes just gone up there there you go top right hand corner nice little bit of microsuction it's all gone literally 30 